Hi, my name is Kayla Fennell Chin, and I'm part of Challenge 2014, and I'm going to be doing interactive learning number six. And for this problem, we're going to try to find the volume enclosed by certain graphs. So let's see what we have. We're going to find the volume enclosed by y is equal to 4x y is equal to x to the third and we're gonna take these two graphs and that area that's inside of it we're gonna take that and revolve it around the x-axis so we're gonna put about actually the y-axis and what I usually do first is try to make a graph so I can see what it kinda looks like so if we were to have a graph and you know this is just like y is equal to x which is a straight line a diagonal line straight through like that and it's just the four means it's going to be increasing faster than usual so we're gonna go that's supposed to be a straight line and then for this one we know what cube root looks like it's like that and then for the problem it says where x is positive so we know it's going to only be this side so if I were to actually draw it though it'd be something like that so what we're going to try to do is we're going to find this area and take the volume of that and revolve it around the y so we're going to revolve it around this since everything is in terms of x over here but we're revolving it around the y, we can use something called the shell method so that we necessarily don't have to solve for y over here. So the shell method states that we're going to take 2 pi, the integral from a to b of, let's say, the shell's radius, and multiply that by the shell's height. And that's going to be as tiny as you can get for dx, for the change in x, since we're using it in terms of x. So if we were to t just draw this and try to see what it looks like, this right here is going to be our height right here. And then our dx comes from the change in x here, and our radius is going to be just y. Oh no, our radius is going to be x because it's in respect to x. So what we're going to do now is let's just write out what we have. So our height, which is going to go there, is what I told you it's going to be from here to here. So the height of this is going to be the top minus the bottom. So our top function is 4x. So it's going to be 4x minus our bottom function, which is x to the third. Then our radius is going to be x because we're respect to x and then our limits how far we're going to go so since we're in respect to x we want to find here to whatever this point is so what we need to do is find this point and find the x value of that so in order to find that point we have to find where these two functions intersect so we're going to set them equal to each other and then we're going to try to solve for x so, solve for x, pull out an x, you get x squared minus 4 is equal to 0, and you can simplify that more, x minus 2, x plus 2 is equal to 0, so we have x is equal to 0, comma, 2, comma, negative 2. And from the problem, x is less than 0. So what can we say is that this point right here doesn't really matter to us. So we see that it intersects at 0 and that it intersects at 2. So this is going to be our point 2. So our limits are from 0 to 2. And now if we were to plug all of this back into our formula that we have up here, we get 2 pi, the integral for our limit, 0 to 2, of our radius, which you said was x because it's with respect to x, of our height, which is 4x minus 
x cubed, all dx, with respect to changing in the x. And now we can either do this by hand or we can plug it into a calculator, but this one is kind of simple, so we can do it by hand. So we have 2 pi the integral from 0 to 2, distribute the x, 4x squared minus x to the fourth dx. Now we're going to take the integral, so 5x divided by 5 minus 3x divided by 3 all from 0 to 2 dx and then we're going to plug in that 2 because if you plug in 0 everything cancels out so if you plug in the 2 we get 4 times 2 to the 3rd divided by 3 minus 2 to the 5th divided by 5 this is all going to be multiplied by 2 pi and then we're going to have, now if we continue to simplify, we have 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 32 over 3 minus 32 over 5 times 2 pi. Alright, we can get some common denominators, multiply this by 5, we get 160 over 15 minus times by 3, 96 over 15, multiplied by 2 pi. Then we're going to get 64 over 15 times 2 pi, which is going to give me 128 over 15 pi. And if you want to simplify that, you can use the calculator, and you're going to get 26.808. And this is all by using the shell method. When you have a radius, when you have a height, and when you have your functions in terms of something different than what is being rotated around. So this would be your shell method, and your answer would be this.